Explosions in Sevastopol. Air raid sirens are sounding in the city. The Kerch Bridge has been closed for traffic. Several aerial targets were shot down in Sevastopol, the so-called governor, Razvajayev, said. Crimean telegram channels report hits in the headquarters of 810th Naval Infantry Brigade. Local media also report hits on ships in Sevastopol. Temporarily occupied Crimea is reportedly under storm shadow barrage. After a short pause, drone strikes on Russian oil refineries have resumed. Kibyshevsky oil refinery in Samara region of Russia, 900 kilometers from the front line, is on fire as a result of drone strikes. Russian media claimed that columns are on fire. Kuibyshev oil refinery is one of the largest enterprises in the oil industry in the Samara region. The refinery's design capacity is 7 million tons of oil per year. The range of products produced by the Kibyshev refinery includes more than 20 types of petroleum products. The main ones, gasoline, diesel fuel, Мы находимся в километрах, наверное, за 10. Может, Sanctions are starting to impede Russia's oil exports, writes Bloomberg. The Russian oil export industry, crucial for financing the Kremlin's activities in Ukraine, faces obstacles as Indian oil refiners refuse tankers owned by state-run Sovkomflot PJSC due to sanctions. Since October, the U.S. has expanded sanctions on tankers carrying Russian crude oil. As a result, numerous tankers have been inactive, leading to a rise in idle Russian diesel barrels in the oceans, the highest since 2017, per Kepler Analytics. The targeting of Sovcom flot represents a significant tightening of U.S. sanctions against Russia, said Janis Kluge, senior associate for Eastern Europe and Eurasia at the German Institute for International and Security Affairs in Berlin. It will not solve the problem of circumvention, but it will drive up shipping costs and price discounts for Russian oil. Since October, the U.S. sanctioned 40 Russian oil tankers. According to Bloomberg's tanker tracking data, none of these sanctioned ships have loaded cargo since being named by the U.S. Treasury. These developments could gradually squeeze Russian petroleum revenues, aligning with U.S. and allied efforts to thwart President Putin's military aggression. Washington still has powerful tools to hurt Russian oil exports, but has used them cautiously, fearing a spike in gas prices in an election year, said Kluge. During the 16th annual Kiev Security Forum, which was attended, among others, by representatives of Ukraine's military intelligence, chair of NATO Military Committee Admiral Rob Bauer said that the outcome of the war in Ukraine will affect the fate of the entire world. This war is being waged because President Putin fears something far more powerful than any physical weapon on Earth, democracy. But no propaganda can hide the truth that he has not achieved any of his strategic goals. And how would he achieve them? Russian troops have no idea what they are fighting for. And you know, you are fighting for civilization itself. So it would be a terrible historical mistake to let him win. It would be dangerous for all of us, because the outcome of this war will affect the fate of the whole world. Admiral Bauer said, addressing the forum participants. Ukrainian Code 9.2 unit have hit a very modern Russian Proriv breakthrough tank in the Bakhmut direction. With the help of shock octo hexacopters, the unit repelled a mechanized enemy attack. In addition to Proriv, a total of about 10 pieces of equipment were burned at work, most of them BTR-82A.
A little boy from Zaporizhia asks his mom what were the loud bangs they heard when Russia attacked the city with missiles. In her Instagram post, the mom wrote she wasn't ready for this conversation and hoped it would come later. The boy's dad is on the front lines. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.